Hello, um, today, um, I want to give an update. Um, DHL Mills Fleet Farm on April 11th told me that I got in the job after I done the three tests that they wanted. Um, they made it sound like, let's put it this way, um, that all three first, second, and third shifts were open. So they said to me, um, what shift would you like? You can have any of these three shifts. So I picked for a shift. So I was, I was after that waiting for the email to accept the full time for shift job. But then here's the thing. Yesterday they called me and emailed me saying unfortunately there is a hold on first shift um please call me back it said in the email to discuss other options and i hate to say it to them i can't work the second shift like you want me to because i can't work 6 30 p.m to 3 30 a.m. So I'm sitting there thinking, well, can I get an accommodation and sort of work both first and second shift? And at the latest be done at 11 o'clock at night and, you know, and all that. For Mills Fleet Farm Distribution Center, that is through DHL. Because it's like, well, and now they're giving me the runaround, so now I don't know if I have a job there after I told um, my close friends that um, I got in the job there because they did said that. And, and I'm sitting there going yesterday thinking, well, why didn't you, um, when you let me pick my shift, go and say, well, before we say this is clear, I want to check the availability on the shift. Or, but way before you interviewed me, tell me what shifts were actually available, because now, I don't know if I got the job or not, now all of a sudden. Because it's like, that is mainly what I was available for was, was first shift, I can't do third shift. Um, and I kind of want to say it like this. And now you're saying the opposite. That first shift is not available? After you told me it was on the 11th. So, what I'm kind of thinking is, I think if they're like any other place, they gotta hold up to it and still give you the first shift job, but I can't go saying it to them. Um, like I said, um, it's a hard thing to say, but what, what else can I do, you know? Um, another thing is, um, I'm gonna have to try to get like I said, I'm probably going to have to email DVR and see if they can get a hold of DHL to figure out what's going on and to see if they'll be willing to work with me on accommodation on the hours because I can't work until 3.30 a.m. because I can't stay up past midnight, really. And, and I hate to say it to them. I'd be falling asleep at work, and I would not be able to drive myself home from work. I'd be so, so tired, or I'd be falling asleep at the wheel. But, yeah. So, now we're at the point where it's like, I don't know if I got the job now, after they told me I gotten it. So... If I can get them to make the accommodations, even like what Alyssa Green told me at work 
even if they could do an 8 in the morning to 4, or a 9 to 6, or a 10 to 7, or an 11 to 8, or a noon to 9, or a 1 to 10, or a 2 to 11, due to the facts that I can't stay up past midnight. So, I do need the medical insurance, but it's like since now I don't know if I got the job now all of a sudden after they told me I got it. Um, now I am forced to continue on a job search until I know 100% if I got a different job because I do want to leave Menards and that's what's disappointing me. I just don't know what's going on right now with Mills Fleet Farm distribution. Because, like I said, if I told uh, tell them that is the only option, they might say, now we don't have a job for you, or you'd be on a waiting list, like, like my husband said. So, like I said, it's going to be a hard thing to do, but right now, all I can do is kind of guess. So, I, I just don't know. I, I wish I, I knew what's going on with Mills Fleet Farm Distribution. I even messaged them on Twitter asking what's going on. They said to get in contact with someone else and asking this all through DHL. I even con commented on their status on liking to try to get something through because I figure corporate DHL since they did said I could have first shift on the 11th. You know, I think they do got a abide to it yet. So, I just don't know if they'll make up an excuse. Because I'll say this, I am going to email DVR and I'm going to say about what's going on. So, if I can't work until 3.30 a.m., they got to understand it. So, yes, I can work weekends. But, there is a point. So, yeah. So, like, right now, I'm at the point where I'm just sitting here waiting to see what's going on.